Ahem. I assume there's a reason for this. I'd like to get your assessment of the chances of blueberry pancakes for breakfast. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are the... To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are the... To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down Help you swallow your pride When something inside's got to break on through To the other side Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulder Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you want For a walk in the park For a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care but And just remember what you paid to get in. Don't worry, guys. My sense of direction is as sharp as ever. We're hopelessly lost. I know exactly where we are. He doesn't even know what country we're in. Let me have that map again, Garfield. The lake is this way, like I thought. It's right there. That's not a lake. That's blueberry jelly from my sandwich. Well, we're lost. Things can't possibly get any worse. You should never say things can't possibly get any worse. Things will always find a way. I had a spare tire in here, but someone took it out. Well, I had to have room for the bocce, didn't I? Garfield. Oh, that gas station we passed a mile back won't be open until morning. We'll have to spend the night here. Nice touch. Better have colored TV in every room. And hot and cold running room service. Ahem. Hello? Anyone here? You rang! Uh, we'd like a room for the night. You mean stay here all night? Did you hear that, Maurice? We have guests! <laughs> and they expect to stay all night? Why, yes, Maurice, I'll tell them. <laughs> we have some lovely sweets, and every room has a southern exposure. Every room has a southern exposure? <laughs> How is that possible? There's no back wall on the hotel. <laughs> Maurice loves that joke, don't you, Maurice? Oh, yes, you do. I'll show you to your room. Walk this way. Don't worry. We're not doing that old gag. Maurice thinks this would be a good room for you. Maurice? Oh, uh, say, I didn't notice any other guests. Other guests? <laughs> oh, that's a good one, isn't it, Maurice? <laughs> Maurice and I both hope you have a nice, deep, long sleep. <laughs> Guys, we're here for the night. We might as well make the best of it. What's this? The legend of the sludge monster. Sludge monster? Hmm, some kind of local folktale. Sure, haven't you ever heard the story of the sludge monster? Maestro? There he lurks 
in dark, mysterious places, making ugly faces. The sludge monster under the bed, or just behind the curtain, he'll be there for certain. Yeah. The sludge monster. If you find your food dish empty, your stuff thrown all around, your favorite toys all broken up in pieces on the ground, keep your karate chop at hand. Kiss those pleasant dreams goodbye, cause the gross out factor on this guy is high. Keep a lookout. Every day and night, he's not a pretty sight. He's the sludge monster, the sludge monster, the sludge monster. Thanks. Oh, come on, boys, let's turn in. Everything will be fine in the morning. Yeah, if we make it till morning. <sighs> You asleep? <clears throat> I've been thinking. This story about a sludge monster is nonsense. There's no such thing. There's. <gasps> There's only one thing to do. We gotta get that sludge monster before he gets us. What? Now, this is a way out. What if the sludge monster's out there waiting and sludging? Odie, I just want you to go out and see if the sludge monster's there. It's safe. I'd be willing to bet your life on it. Oh no, the sludge monster has Odie. He's a goner. Alas, poor Odie. He was an okay pup. A little moist around the tongue, maybe, but okay. What an awful way to go. Sludged. Wait a minute. I may be next. I have to get out of here. Oh no! The sludge monster! What, where, what's going on? Garfield, what's gotten into you? The sludge monster, it found me. <laughs> the sludge monster's got me cornered. This is it. I'm gonna get sludged just like Odie. Oh no, I've been slurped by sludge. I've been... Hey, I know that slurp. Odie! Ah! What is all this? No, wait, don't tell me. I don't care. All I know is I am up and we're not getting back to sleep. We might as well start walking to that service station. I'll pack. What a sneaky trick, posing as sludge. I'll never trust you again. Huh? You didn't enjoy your stay here? Maurice and I try so hard to make our guests comfortable. Oh, the room was fine. It was my craven cat and dog that ruined things. I can't take you two anywhere. Why can't you ever behave yourselves? Oh, our first guest this year, Maurice. I hope they didn't believe that nonsense about a sludge monster. Why can't we keep guests here? Hey, maybe we ought to get cable TV. It's a thought. I've got an idea. Let's all get dressed up and have a parade. Yeah, oh, parade! Yeah. 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 Comb my comb. Yeah, great idea. <laughs> have fun. Where's Sheldon? I think he felt left out. Yeah, man. Not much you can do to dress up when you're an egg, man. Get your hearts out, you guys! You probably think I'm going to snitch Wade's picnic basket. Not so. I would never stoop so low as to take someone's picnic basket. 
Now the food in the basket, that's another matter altogether. <laughs> Hi, Bo. Want to join Wade and me for a picnic? Thanks, but no thanks, pig. The sheep's on cleanup duty. Stand back. This is one powerful vacuum cleaner. That's a major oopsie there. Like I had the thing in reverse, man. <coughs> yeah, I kind of figured that out. Are you ready to go on our picnic, Orson? I even got some Chinese fortune cookies. Orson, you're a mess. No kidding. <laughs> Let me take a shower and then we'll go eat. Cleanest pig in the world. Yeah, I'll just be a minute. I'll just eat one little cookie while I'm waiting. Bad luck will befall you if you venture outdoors. Oh, no! I have got to get indoors. This is the only indoors around. Come out of there. No, I can't be outside. My fortune said it was bad luck. Oh, no. I'm outside. I must be inside. Gee, I'm glad I took that shower. Tell me what's wrong. My fortune cookie said I shouldn't go outside today. Something terrible will happen. That's silly, Wade. Idea. A cookie can't tell your fortune. How about a donut? No. A crawler? No. A bagel? No. A croissant? No. <laughs> if you walk under a ladder, a black cat crosses your path. Or a broken mirror gives seven years bad luck. Don't let it get to you. Don't fear the aftermath. Don't let superstitions let you pass the buck. It's not superstition or just plain luck that makes things turn out the way they do. Don't be suspicious. It's all fictitious. Don't let superstition get the best of you. Watch out, Orson. A black cat is coming. A black cat crossing your path does not guarantee bad luck. It does when it's a puma. Oh, no, no, we have a serious puma surplus. We have one puma. You can make your own decisions. Control your own fate. Put matters in your hands. Don't trust to luck. Is the puma gone? Don't believe in superstition, it's gone. Stand up and celebrate. Be a happy man, I mean a happy duck. You see, it's not superstition or just plain luck that makes things turn out the way they do. So don't be suspicious, it's all fictitious. Don't let superstition get the best of you. Don't let it get the best of you. That's good advice and kind of a catchy song, too. Now, how can a cookie predict the future? Ah! Web-footed one, I am Swami Bhagwana, mystic seer of the future. Would you like to hear your fortune? Yes. Oh, please, Swami, sir. Then let me read a fortune cookie. You will be caught in a rainstorm and then pummeled and harmed by a wild ape who wants to tap dance in potato salad. That is the most ridiculous fortune I've ever heard, Swami. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day. It's, it's raining! <laughs> Can I dance in your potato salad? Hey, it! I'm too young to be pummeled and harmed. Oh, please, Orson, hide me! There's an ape out there and he wants to dance in my potato salad just like my fortune cookie said. I smell a rat. No, a rooster. Oh, 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 oh that Wade, what a maroon! Believing fortune cookies! <laughs> Which reminds me. You will lose all your feathers during a total eclipse on Arbor Day while listening to the Marine Corps band playing Home on the Range and watching a badminton match between two guys named Ichabod. Ha! What a ridiculous fortune! 
Boy, I want to talk to you. Why is it getting dark? Gee, must be an eclipse. Total eclipse? It's... it's Armor Day. Hey, Roy! Listen to this neat tape I found. It's the Marine Corps Band. And Marine Corps Band playing home on the range. Hey, Roy! Want to watch my friends play badminton? This is Ichabod, and this is Ichabod. Two guys named Ichabod playing badminton. You will lose all your feathers. I have got to find a place to hide. I am not going to lose my feathers. Hey, Rooster, what's your problem, man? No! no! Roy, what's wrong? Roy, where are your feathers? Well, at least they're clean. Arthur, Roy ate our entire picnic. He left one fortune cookie. You will spend today gluing feathers on a friend. Hmm, maybe there is something to all this after all. It's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. Hottest July ever. In hot weather, you do as little activity as possible. Everyone knows that. Let me amend my prior statement. Everyone with half a brain knows that. Resume. Swimming is a good way to cool off. However, you have to hurry. If you don't, there's a chance the water might... evaporate. I have to think cool. That's it. Must think cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's not working. How can I think cool when it looks hot? Idea. Automatic ice maker to blizzard. It's so hot. I need a cold drink. Garfield? Garfield, what happened to the re. <laughs> July. It's July. Garfield! Garfield, you can't just make it winter in the middle of some... 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 some of this is not a bad idea. You're trying to think cool. You catch on fast. This is great. What else can we do to make it wintery around here? <sighs> this way. That box? But that's where I store the Christmas decorations. Come on, let's deck the halls and fa la 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 la, you know, la 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 la. Well, why not? This was a great idea, Garfield. I don't feel half as warm now. Uh, Muriel, dear, you know Arbuckle across the street? Uh-huh. The one with the cat that eats everything? Yes, that's the one, dear. He just put his Christmas decorations up. Uh -huh. Always trying to be the first one in the neighborhood. You go put ours up. But, dear, it's July. Oh, that's the problem with you, Edgar. Always waiting till the last minute. Yes, dear. Hey, Harry, 
Yeah, it's me. This is Harry. When do we put the Christmas decorations up? Yeah, that's what I thought. But all the houses out here have them up. Yeah, maybe we better get started, make sure, you know. I have to go to the market and restock the refrigerator. I'd better come along, help you clear a few aisles. Guys, it is July, isn't it? Huh? Not according to popular opinion. But hey, if they all say it's Christmas, maybe it's Christmas. You shouldn't have. Uh, great. Thank you. Yeah, I figure every home ought to have one. Oh, candy. Great. Thanks. Okay, guys, now we're going to go door to door singing carols. Then we'll we interrupt our program of Christmas music to bring you this bulletin. It is not Christmas. This conclusion was reached by the mayor's office after an extensive investigation revealed that it is, in fact, July. The city council, meanwhile, voted that it was August. Repeating, it is not Christmas. Well, a little Christmas was nice while it lasted. Yeah, I always figured one Christmas a year isn't enough. What? Oh, well, guys, let's turn in. Huh? What's that? Somebody in here? Oh, it's you. No, it's not Christmas. Sorry. You'd think of all people he would know better. Here's some change, Garfield. Go get us some soda pop. I wonder what would happen if I put all the money in at once. 